Good morning. Right now it's five minutes to two in the morning on August 31st, 2012. <laughs> By the time I wake up, <laughs> I'm going straight to the bank. I'm going to hit the liquor store, hit the bootleg cigarette spot, put everything away, and I'll be able to live out here. You see how I'm living? You get your night vision together, man, with this full moon right here. You have no idea. This is a kind of daylight. It's a night daylight that you can live out here. You can. It's like, oh, man, this is so beautiful. This is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely exotic. I'm going to, I've just learned something on how to share love, I swear. And I haven't thought about love for so long. And I'm transforming from the character that was just hating and that's all this guy. And I try to tell these people, when I play these characters, I actually live these characters. And I'm sorry to all the black people if you think that, you know, I was like permanently ebonic and that I was profane, especially this is for Dr. Fritz Fizeme, who said some things to me, man, that I really, I mean, I really got ticked off. And, 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 and I made a couple of videos where I was actually angry. But now I'm being me by myself all alone. And I can see that I can, you know, it's not impossible for me to get a girl. I had those security issues going through this because I never knew what it was to be poor, to be homeless. And I swear, the vanity in the women today is, 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 is discomforting for me. That's what it is for me here in America, in this country, at least in this region. It's because the level of vanity is so extreme and so, so disgusting. You know, ladies, come on now. You all know I love women. When I say women, I love women. I'd love to have 10 wives in 10 different countries and just be able to fly from <laughs> and live with one of them every month. And, you know, that's just a fancy, stupid thing I'm saying. But for crying out loud, that's just to express how I love women so much. And I fight men. I fight men. But when there's some women that take men's position, you should expect the fight as if you were a man. And New York State Senator Huntley, you might try all that nonsense with somebody else. And everything your son said to me about his life, your life, and all this stuff, I'm going to sell it, baby. I have to, darling. It's about my credibility. That's why I had to put Ida Smith on the phone, and it was a legal recording. That's how I was able to get uh, 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 Ashley. And then uh, uh, the other defendant, what's her name? Um, uh, the one, the real cocky one. Hey, uh, let me see. Ashley and... Uh, the office manager for Congressman Makes in Washington, D.C. Kim Fuller. Kim Fuller, are you humble a little bit now, darling? Yes, you are, sweetness. Hey, Keisha, are you hot ass? <laughs> Fine. African American females got a bunch of men in women's bodies. Damn, you're fine. Boy, Lord have mercy, what have I accomplished here? What have I accomplished? Bag me a New York State Senator after I just slammed NYCHA. Damn, my yes! Woo! A lot of you guys don't work hard enough to be able to do this and say this. <laughs> now I feel like I can woo! And know what it is for real. Because this is like Ric Flair saying it. Oh, this is my personal log, my ventilation. <coughs> and me having spent two and a half years in other desolation. In absolute hell. To where my own city. My own life, my friends, my family members became enemies. 
Not mortal enemies like I want to kill them, but mortal enemies that we won't talk again. I don't need you. I don't care about you no more. I don't feel nothing for you. I love America, but I don't want to love Canada more. I want something new. No, I don't want to go to no Florida. That would be pretense. You tortured me, America. And all you Americans that are watching this, I, it's not you that tortured me. They did. These most powerful people that are your leaders, black and white, Jewish, Catholic, Protestant, all betrayed America because of the greed that a billionaire Michael R. Bloomberg brought into power. God, I have to get into the psyche of the man. I have to get into his head. And I need to float in there in order to bring this book out. That's why I'm not in a hurry to put this book out. Tracy's in a hurry because Tracy love for me to have a million bucks. And I just like blow it all trying to get her or give it to I don't want Tracy like that. I want Tracy like she is. But that's not going to happen. I can get another one. Uh, something else can satisfy me. I'll what, go Chinese. I don't care. It doesn't matter anymore. I haven't touched a woman in over ten and a half, close to ten and a half years. And I didn't masturbate. And then when I blow up on people, they, 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 they don't know where that energy is coming from. It's innate. And all you guys doing these perversions and all of these things, you created me the conscience of black America. You guys lose, lost this country. The Central Americans have come over here and they've taken everything from you, African Americans. They took your pride, man. They took your pride because you don't got knocked down to number three or four in this country. You're not even number two anymore. Don't let the face of Obama fool you. He just happens to be one guy with black skin. Has anybody checked out his head and gone beneath the surface of his rhetoric and his sweet talk? Because I'm pretty sweet talking. I'm pretty sweet talker, trust me. <laughs> I loved Obama. I loved him. Uh, and right now, all I see is a, a mannequin, a, 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 a character. I don't know the man. But most everybody, you end up getting. Most everybody, you get the person. But like right now, here comes the cops. I wish I could just low crawl down there and let you see the, the, the headlights. Look, 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 look. Let's see. Let's see if we can get the headlights. You see that? You see that? They won't see me. And this is too small for them to be able to see. You don't want to talk about spying on somebody? In the morning, I'll show you. If I got time, if I remember. But in any event, I don't want these guys. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't want them to stop. All right. What? The police tried to kill me for State Senator Huntley and Congressman Gregor W. Minks. Are you kidding me? I'm still on the run. I'm still on the run. Could you imagine? I just bumped off a New York State Senator by vicarious liability by having the <laughs> Attorney General bust her ass <laughs> on stuff that I sent to him. And what's even going to be crazy that should really trigger the feds like I want the judge to is the fact that Mr. Sijinsky, there's a guy called Sijinsky that's at 172 Church Street that's an assistant attorney general that got suckered into taking this case. And he defended, yeah, look, everything they put, we're going to put all that up. And it's going to be a case study for black colleges. We're going to teach you what racism is about and how institutional, institutional racism works the way our governor articulated it when he was uh, uh, the HUD secretary. And guess what? Let's see if he's for real. Is he a real Negro lover, or is he just a fraud? It doesn't make any difference to me. You betrayed America when you pulled off your stupidity. 
You betrayed America when you lied to the people. You betrayed America when everything ended up being a perfect storm that led to the destruction of my life. And I said, any and everybody who had a hand in the honeydew bucket of the destruction of my life will be held to accountability. What do you think that means? That means any and everybody. Obama did his job. It's just that I found out things that I just, and I already told him, I'm a Haitian man. I didn't take care of me and my people. Let's go with myself first. Right now, I need me my money, I need me my girl. I need to be in my country in Canada. I love your country too, but I gotta go home. I gotta go home, because I'm going, I'm just gonna go home. People go home, they end up getting married and be happy and all that stuff, live a different life. Like people run away to America because they've been tortured somewhere else. I'm running to another country because I've been tortured in America. And I do plan on filing human rights violations charges at some point. But right now, that's not what this is about. This is about me being happy under Almighty God to where the perfect storm led to this is a perfect life. I worked for this. That ain't my work for it. Hell, I'm still suffering. You think I want to be here? I don't want to be here alone. That's for sure. I don't want to be here alone. I seen a sweet little girl at the store. But damn, you got two kids and you ain't even 20 years old. Sweet! Jesus Christ. Naive! And could be gullible. But come on now. I'm 50, 50-some years old. Everybody want me to go get some old bay. What am I going to do with an old woman? That wants to probably train me like I'm her pet. I'm nobody's freaking pet. I'm a grown-ass man. And I lead. I lead. I'm not led by women like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. If that's your Anglo culture, you can have it. You can keep it. I think it's beautiful, and I think it's wonderful for you. But thank you very much. I'm on my way home to Canada. <laughs> on my way home to Canada. All right? I love you, America. You have a good one. And I'm out of here.